Uh, the next story of the day is about Steph Curry, one of my favorite uh, NBA players. Although I, I will have to say when he said, oh, when we win the NBA finals, we're not going to the White House. It's like, all right, Steph, that's a way to make me not a fan real fast. But I get it. You know, he doesn't know that much about politics. He's been brainwashed by the media. It's okay, Steph. I, I, I forgive you for hating Trump so much. Uh, I get it. But you're really good at basketball, and you love God, and you hit three-pointers that no one else could hit. So, you know, I still got love for Steph Curry. I, I like the guy. I think he's got a good soul. Um, he was on some podcast, and the host of the podcast talked about the moon landing being fake. And Steph basically agreed with him and said, you know, I don't want to start a conspiracy theory, but yeah, I don't think we went to the moon. Roughly, I'm paraphrasing. And then I think it was Kent Bazemore, if I read correctly, but someone else on the podcast said, you know, look into Stanley Kubrick, hinting like a lot of conspiracy theorists think that uh, Stanley Kubrick filmed and staged the um, moon landing. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm about to hit you with fact after fact after fact after fact. No conspiracies here. I'm talking Reuters. I'm talking CNN. I'm talking mainstream media. I'm talking NASA scientists themselves. I'm not going to start a conspiracy theory. Don't flag me. I'm sure they're going to take my money away on YouTube on this video and put up a little clip to try to disprove me, even though everything I'm about to say is like literally what they said. So let me get into it. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Uh, I'm not I'm not one of those people who watches a YouTube video or reads a blog and I just agree with it. Oh my God, that had to happen because someone told me on a 20 minute YouTube video. I'm not that person. I find those people very foolish, very, very naive, equally as naive as people on the left who believe all the news. Uh, but what really woke my mind up to, to how weird and, and not believable the moon landing was, was I watched a video of NASA's oldest, I believe he's the oldest living engineer or one of the older scientists for NASA. His name is Don Petit. And there's a video of him talking. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's not Alex Jones or Gavin McGinnis or Steph Curry. It's a NASA scientist, Don Petit. He says, listen, we'd go back to the moon, uh, but we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We lost it and we, we can't build it back. It takes too much to build it back. And I'm, I, I replayed the video like 15 times. I was like, what? We had the technology in 1969, but we lost the technology and we don't have the technology again? I mean, how stupid do they think I am? I mean, we, we didn't even really have computers in 1969, maybe like a very early version or something. So we went from having no computers, no GPS, no smartphones, no... None of the technology we have now that has literally revolutionized the world and, and, and like times 10,000. Certain industries, it's like times 10,000. But you want me to believe that, Don Petit, that, that, that NASA had the technology in 1969 but somehow miraculously can't build it back or doesn't have it now when we have computers that have mapped the entire Earth. Like literally you go on Google Street Maps, you can see an entire three-dimensional world that Google has like, they've literally taken pictures of the entire world and we can't get back to the moon, even though we had the tech. So I'm like, oh my goodness. So I go down this rabbit hole. I made a huge NASA video uh, that got like 8 million views. I, I got hit up by the documentary maker. NASA scientists were yelling at me. Uh, people whose grandparents were in NASA were yelling at me. People from the D Department of Defense uh, started getting mad at me and stuff. It was like, I was like, okay, this, this all escalated so quickly. The funny part is, it wasn't a conspiracy video. I used clips from Reuters. I used clips from NASA themselves. And all I did was open the floor and I was like, what? Like, that's all it was. And they, they can't, they don't like questions. That's the thing. It's like, I don't, I don't have the answers. I'm not saying we didn't go to the moon. I'm not saying it's fake. I'm not saying, but I'm going to ask questions as long as I have the freedom of speech. I'm not a complete moron. I'm not going to turn America into like a fascist dictator state where you're not allowed to question blatant lies. So not only does Don Petit say that they don't have the technology to go back to the moon anymore, this is a NASA scientist, not a YouTube video. Then I, I, I took clips from this uh, Aaron Ronan uh, documentary. I think it's called Did We Go or something like that. Um, and they go to uh, Goddard Space Center or whatever, and they talk to other people who work for NASA, and they say, you know, ask questions. And they say, no, we don't have the telemetry data. We lost it, and we don't have it. Um, and then I found out that they, it's in Reuters. Literally, Reuters reported this. This is not a conspiracy theory. They said the original tape of the moon landing was lost. They either lost it or they taped over it. Like, that's so believable. Like, the original tape of Michael Jordan dunking or, you know, it's like, oh, no, 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 we don't have it anymore. The, the museum lost it and we taped over it. You know, we don't have enough tapes. It's like, I, 
it's not believable to me for a second about like a basketball video, let alone uh, the biggest accomplishment of American modern history going to the moon. You taped over the original moon footage? Like how desperate is NASA for tapes? Do they can't afford a, a VHS tape? I mean, they get billions of dollars, billions of your dollars go to fund NASA and they can't even afford a tape so they don't have to tape over or lose the original tape. They can't afford a security guard or something. So putting all this stuff together and then the funniest part about NASA being mad at, at Steph Curry is they said, dude, we're gonna show you a moon rock. So, so New York Times does an article and says, NASA says, Steph, come look at these moon rocks and that'll prove, um, prove that the moon landing was real. And this is another mainstream article in NBC. This is not Breitbart or Fox News, this is NBC and, and mainstream news. The original moon rock that they gave to Holland, they gave the Dutch a moon rock and they said, here, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong gave it to them for whatever reason, a token of their appreciation or some sort. They did tests on these moon rocks and they found out that it was petrified wood. So Buzz Aldrin and, and Neil Armstrong lied and gave them a petrified wood and said it was a moon rock. So add all of these things up and, and Steph Curry, Albeit he might not be the uh, the brightest tool in the shed when it comes to politics. I'm not saying he's not smart. I think he's probably genius level intelligence. I just think politically he's uh, very, very foolish. And it, it's okay, Steph. Um, stop voting for people who are going to steal your tax money. You take your own money and give it to charities. Anyway, he's, on, he's, he's not dumb. And neither are a lot of entertainers and musicians and a lot of people in that community. I mean... They don't have the technology to go there to the moon anymore, according to Dom Petit. They don't have the telemetry data. They lost it. They taped over the or lost the original footage. And the moon rock that they said they gave to Holland ended up being a, a petrified wood. So add all these things together. And, and I listen to people like Neil deGrasse Tyson, who recently got Me too bless his soul. Um, but and Bill Nye, who's coming out. Oh, Bill Nye just just showed Steph Curry. It's like, Bill Nye, you haven't done anything in three, four years, and, and the new Bill Nye special was like a super liberal indoctrination camp. It's like Bill Nye turned on science. So the two the two people pushing this agenda, Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson, I used to love them, but they've they've really shown, shown me that they're phony uh, recently. Anyway, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the big evidence that they have that the moon landing is real, and uh, Ryan Reynolds recently, this is like, you know, movie, they said, that first they took the American flag out of the, the moon landing. It's like, okay, anti-American propaganda in a moon, like why would you take the most iconic part of the moon landing out of your video? It's because it's an indoctrination video to brainwash people into, you know, not liking America as much as they should, because God forbid people like America, then they won't support their policies and politics, so they can't have that in the Ryan Reynolds space movie. But they had Ryan Reynolds going around pushing the Neil deGrasse agenda of, there's no way we could fake the moon landing because we didn't have the film technology to do that. So why I'm saying this is let's add up all the evidence. I don't care if you think we landed on the moon. I don't care if you don't think. Some people think there's secret space bases on the moon. Some people don't think it exists. Some people think it's like a hologram or it's translucent, uh, you know, to each their own. But let's take all the evidence. So they don't have the technology to go back anymore, yet they had, they didn't have, they didn't have, the film technology to fake the moon landing, according to Ryan Reynolds and Neil deGrasse Tyson, but they had the technology to go to the moon. So they could go to the moon then, they didn't have the film technology to fake it, but now they don't have the technology to go there anymore, or at least a couple years ago. So, okay, that makes no sense to me, but I guess to some people it does. And then telemetry data they lost, they taped or lost uh, the original moon landing footage and Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong gave a fake moon rock to Holland that was petrified wood. And this is just a side note, but it, Neil A, Neil Armstrong, if you uh, put a dot on his name, Neil A, flip it around, it actually spells alien. Neil A spells alien. Interesting, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I do feel like there's a lot of hidden messages in uh, people's names, um, just like Trump. Trump trumps people. Uh, Laura Loomer looms over people. Jeff Flake is a flake. You know, there's Jim Acosta is like always accosting people. So it's like, you know, I feel like people, people's name have little gems in them. I don't know if that has, I'm not starting a conspiracy theory. I just think it's funny and interesting. But overall, yeah, I mean, that's why Steph Curry probably feels that way. I mean, he's, he's watched videos and, and <laughs> here's their idea. If somebody's a part of NASA or Department of Defense watching my video or they're super liberal or, or conservative and they really 
really believe in the moon landing. Here's what you can do to stop Steph Curry and everybody else from, from like me. I'm waiting to see what Elon Musk and Trump do. They, they say there's a space force going. Elon says he's going to Mars. Elon says he's going to the moon. I'm not hating. I'm not judging. I'm just like, show me. You know, because like he did the launching the car in space thing. I'm not gonna lie. I watched that when he launched a Tesla into space. Didn't look real to me. I don't. I don't know. I'm not, I love Elon Musk. He's he's restored my faith in Tesla and uh, and and space a little bit. But I don't know him launching the car. Like I, I didn't look at that and think, oh yeah, they really showed me. I'm like, dude, this looks like a digital manipulated video. That's just that. That was my first thought when I saw the Tesla in space. I wasn't like, oh yeah, for sure. It looked ridiculously fake, and it had music playing. I'm not sure about the science of of space, but when I like learn about how space works and then like their own videos disprove it, even Joe Rogan knows he questioned Neil deGrasse, he couldn't say anything. Like the way that physics works in space doesn't even add up to a lot of their own videos. And then they, they're like, oh no, that's a, a you, you know, something, he must've hit it. It's like, no, nah, I don't think so. Anyway, the way you could disprove me or Steph Curry is, is just uh, show people like, show people integrity, honesty, the story, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying we didn't go to the moon, but the story's not adding up to me. A lot of stories are not adding up, and uh, I can't say I'm fully convinced we went to the moon. I'm open to the idea that we went, um, but based on all of the ridiculous uh, narrative around it, it's no surprise why Steph Curry doesn't believe it. But here's what they do in society. Even the craziest theory that you might think is mean and terrible, for someone like me, and, a lot, and millions of people as well, the way to show me that that's wrong is by showing me irrefutable evidence and, and, and really explaining to me in a logical way. It's not by saying you're dumb, you're foolish, there's no way, I don't have to show you, you're a loser, you're not bright. Like that's, that to me, or you're hateful. It doesn't really, it doesn't, it doesn't really show me that you're honest. And I, and I will say too, with a lot of conspiracy theories and even like radical people on the left and the right, it's actually festering. You delete and ban people off YouTube, you know, and this is my criticism too, I had a big, conversation with praying medic of QAnon. I kind of debated him because I'm not the biggest believer, but I also think the way conservatives and media are treating QAnon, they're not trying to disprove it logically. They're just hating on it. And this goes for left to right to that to this is like you're growing the movement. Like you're not stopping conspiracy theorists. They're getting bigger and more powerful. <laughs> you're not stopping people who believe in like these crazy nefarious groups that run the world because every time people talk about it, you delete them off social media, you show no evidence to, to disprove it, and then you just like misframe it and say they're crazy. You're actually fueling the conspiracy theories. There's theories that I don't think are true, but the way that the media treats them, I'm like, oh, no wonder why people believe this, because you guys have no valid or intelligent argument against it. You just ban everybody and say it's mean and hateful. Like, why is, why is it hateful to question things? Anyway, Steph Curry doesn't think the moon's real. A lot of celebrities and, and, and music artists don't think the moon's real. A lot of uh, are the moon landing's real. Uh, I've I've gone down that rabbit hole. I've I've seen videos of, of the moon being translucent. Uh, I have my own theories and thoughts, but I wouldn't say they're they're concrete or I'm that invested in them. I just have my suspicions and thoughts. And uh, until until I see otherwise, you know, I'll, I'll have those thoughts in my head regardless of what people want to say. But just to wrap it up, I'm, I'm not saying we didn't go to the moon. I'm not saying the moon landing was faked. I'm not saying it's specifically real or it's this or that. I, To be honest, I have no idea. I have a slight idea based on information and videos I've read. I've never been there. I, I find that all of my knowledge combined doesn't really add up to that much as far as what would be real. Um, so I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is before I move on, uh, I'm not surprised that Steph Curry feels that way because a lot of people feel that way because when you add up all the evidence, the telemetry data, lost or, or taped over tape, fake moon rock given to, to, to the Dutch, uh, not having the technology or whatever they say or, or they have said in the past. I mean, what, what do you expect to happen? Like you think that people are gonna hear all of that stuff and think that it's a conspiracy theory? And once again, just to repeat for the 20 millionth time, because people on my video, they say, Anomaly, nah, you made this up. No, I'm literally, all of my sources come from NASA themselves. I show videos of them saying it. People at the Space Center, people who, who are their longest t technicians, uh, you know, Reuters and NBC, like these are liberal mainstream trusted news outlets that are saying this. I, I didn't make this stuff up. I didn't reach in my head and create this theory. It's out there in the public and I've seen it and I can't unsee it. That's all I'm gonna say. But Steph Curry, keep on keeping on, brother. Question things, do your thing. Don't, don't be a, 
Don't be pressured. Let's have some fun. Trump's in the White House. Things are getting weird. You can't if you can't beat it, join it. Let's get funky. Funky, funky. All right. Final story of the day. Thank you guys for joining. And thank you to everyone signing up to my free email list. It's pinned to the top now. It's 100% free. Thank you to everybody supporting on Patreon or DonorBox. You guys are the reason I'm 